In this video, we will see how to automatically bring up a quality inspection when a shop floor user records output. Shop floor insight allows employees on the floor to capture data on the quality of the produced items. This is done through the use of quality inspections. An example of a quality inspection could be to measure the length of a final product, or perhaps to note the color of a final product. This quality control embedded into shop floor insight can be very useful to track the quality of manufactured products but it can also be used to track the efficiency of tools or perhaps certain machines used in the manufacturing process. Let's have a look at the quality inspection definition that we're gonna use in this demonstration. We're gonna to navigate to the quality inspection definition page. So this is where the quality inspections are defined. We can see there, there is a total of two inspections here. Uh, we will be using the output inspection inspection so we're going to have a quick look at that um, now we can see the you know we've got two questions here two items uh, part of this inspection so this is really the two questions that will be uh, asked to the users on the floor um, so one is just on length uh, with a pass of you know when there's a value of seven or above and then the second question being a, a simple uh, visual pass yes or no so not to go into too much detail on this let's now close that um, okay, so the next thing we have to do here in order to to tell Business Central uh, which which inspection is going to be used here uh, when we're recording output, we need to go to the shop floor client configuration card. So this is a card that's used to define certain settings. Uh, you may have one more than one client configuration card as we do here. I will click on the one that will be applied, which is this one here, and on the shop floor client configuration card, there is a production order section here, which we can see, and there's a field called output QI definition. So this is where we tell uh, Business Central and shop floor uh, when you're recording output, also uh, use this quality inspection um, when recording output. So that's basically what we've done here. So it's already selected. I'm gonna close this now. So I'm gonna, now let's have a look at this in Shop floor insight. So we're going to navigate shop floor insight. Um, you'll note that I didn't have to select the quality inspection here because it, it was already defined. Uh, if you would have normally changed it, it's always a good thing to do a control F5 here, hard refresh. Um, in any case, I'm just going to log in here. Okay, so we can see the shop floor inside application. We've got a production order operation here visible on screen. So in this context here, uh, me, the user of uh, the application on the floor, I want to record output. So I click on the output button. Now the pop-up is, is normal in the sense we've got the output information here on the top. The one thing that's different though is the bottom section here. We now we can see the two questions coming from the quality inspection here. One on length and the other one on visual pass, yes or no. So I'm, I'm gonna, let's record a quali an output quantity of one. And we're gonna say a length here of, let's just say seven. And let's, let's actually give this a visual pass of no. So we can see that as we select the values here, we've got some red coloring that appears automatically. So it's, it's obviously a fail here. So we're gonna register that. And we're now gonna have a look at what we've done, um, where this information goes. So all the quality inspection tests, the, all the, all this information is saved in the quality inspection test page. So there's uh, this one here. We're going to look at the values in just a sec. So this is one inspection that we've done here and we can see we've got the production order number. We can see it's, it's failed. Um, and there will be more information here to the right, uh, in regards to who, who did the inspection and when, um, yeah. So we can now click on this inspection and we also have the opportunity here of, uh, so we obviously see the details here. Uh, and we can decide to say, you know what, we're going to create a retest here. So supervisor could come in here and, and do that. And there we go. So now let's go back to the shop floor inside application and then let's do the test again. So we're going to click the output button again. So in this case here, we're going to say, you know what, we've outputted a quantity of two. We're doing the test again. Uh, let's actually make this a pass. We're going to put in a quantity of, or a quality here, value of eight for the length. And let's say that uh, it is a visual pass. We're going to select yes there. We have green. We are good to go. We click on register. 
Okay, so let's have a look, quick look in uh, Business Central here. So if we come back now to the quality inspection tests. We now see there are two entries here. The first one being the first one we failed and the second one being the pass. Now, any sort of data mining or BI tools or any sort of reporting that needs to be done on the, the inspections that users would do on the floor, um, this has to be done with the information found in the quality inspection test values. Now, this is essentially all the, the questions of the inspections themselves. And we can see there's, you know, we've got all the information here pertaining to the fields and the questions and the values that users uh, captured. So this is where we could export to Excel uh, for a CSV file. And from there, it's, it's possible to you know, to create reporting and, and basically da data mine this. Um, okay, so one last thing I wanted to show in Shopfloor Insight. Um, now this is outside of the out output process, uh, but when we are displaying the quality inspection uh, information panel here, uh, it is possible to associate uh, what would be an ad hoc quality inspection. So this would be an inspection, again, not tied to any sort of output, um, but this can be a different inspection, normally would be a different inspection that Shuffler users can decide to to record um, with, uh, simply by clicking the button right here. This concludes the video on quality inspections and Shuffler Insight. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.